So this is a short introduction to uh, installing and configuring the Stoner Python package that uh, offers some help for writing uh, data analysis scripts using the Python programming language. So this is a package that's been developed by us in the Condensed Matter Physics Group at the University of Leeds. And for us, um, a lot of our data files are essentially a, a table of uh, numerical data and then with that some uh, metadata. And in, our, in the numerical data, the, typically the columns represent a, a variables that you might have measured, and then the individual rows are a sequence of measurements of those variables. So for example, uh, if you have a resistance versus temperature set of data, you have one column which represents a set of temperatures, and another column which represents a set of resistances. Um, and then in the metadata, you'd have information about the, the sample, the um, particular configuration of the, the experiment um, and anything else that you want to record. So kind of a lot of analysis jobs that we want to go and do um, involve taking that data and maybe plotting it or manipulating the individual columns of data in some way and quite often fitting some data curves to that and extracting some parameters. And then you might have to go and have um, several hundreds or several thousands of such curves in a complete measurement set. So there's sort of these typical data analysis things. You can, of course, do them in, in various um, uh, scientific uh, data analysis tools, such as Origin, um, or even spreadsheets like Excel, if you really have to. Um, but when you have a large number of data files like this, it often becomes more convenient to have some kind of script to go and do it. And that's what we often go and do. But of course, you end up with a situation where um, you repeat the same sort of code to go and read in the data from the file on disk or to go and do a similar set of manipulations or to churn through fitting a set of data. And so we've developed this package to just take some of that grunt work of doing these measurement scripts out and to give a nice consistent way of doing it and let you concentrate on the actual analysis tasks at hand. And we've done this for using in Python, mainly because Python is open source and it's freely available. And it's got a really great collection of scientific analysis libraries and a really strong user community that can offer a lot of help and support to, to using and developing those libraries. So our particular package then just sits on top um, of a lot of these other otherwise very helpful scientific libraries and just provides a little bit extra um, getting started um, help. So if you're interested in using it, the first thing, of course, you're going to need to have is um, an installation of Python. Um, and our preferred um, Python distribution is the Anaconda Python um, made by Continuum. Um, so this is freely downloadable. It's cross-platform. Um, you can download it from the URL that you see on the screen at the moment. Uh, it comes in uh, Python 3.6 or 2.7 versions. Um, and it also has actually um, uh, support for Python 3.5 and other 3.x versions. Um, our own Stoner package is predominantly tested in 3.6 and 2.7, but we're also compatible with Python 3.5, and we may well be compatible with other versions of Python, but we don't test them um, uh, by standard. Okay, so um, however you want to go and do it, you get hold of your version of Python. So the actual Stoner Python package itself is um, on GitHub, um, so it lives in at, um, this repository, um, and you can download it off GitHub if you want to. Um, a word of warning, if you are going to go and do that, um, then the master branch tends to be rather unstable and might well be broken at any given time, but we also try and maintain a stable branch as well as um, older versions as well. So. Um, uh, if you are going to come off uh, GitHub, then um, if you don't want to have something which is permanently broken, then um, we'd suggest using the stable branch. But probably you want to go and um, install one of the pre-built packages. So um, by um, standard, we're building Conda packages to work with Anaconda Python. Um, and so what I've got here is a, um, a install of the Conda Python. I've got a little demonstration environment set up ready, but if you just installed it, you'd be using the, the root or the main, the base um, environment. So to install the Stoner package, it's really easy. You just have to do conda install minus C for channel phygbu, which is the uh, channel on which we put all the, the package and all its requirements, and then Stoner. 
and it will simply go away and do its thing. And after some time it goes and uh, works out what it needs to install. Um, so on top of the sort of things you get as standard with the Anaconda Python, it's got a few other dependencies um, and the Conda package knows what these all are. And indeed we have suitable versions pre-built and sitting in the same channel. So you can just accept those and it will then go and install them. Um, none of these packages are particularly big. And there it's done. So just to go and check that everything is all happy and fine, if we just fire up a, an IPython session. And then we can do import stoner with a capital S. It pops up this warning, um, that's nothing to worry about there. Um, and then we can just check that we've got it installed by asking it for stoner underscore underscore version underscore underscore. And it comes back. So in this case, what I've installed is the 0 0.8.0 release candidate 7 package. Um, uh, all the videos we're going to do on this, um, I'll be demonstrating it using the 0 0.8 series. Um, newer versions may well have a slightly slight changes and some uh, additional features, but hopefully everything I show you will still carry on working. Um, if you're not using Anaconda Python, um, then we also do have pip uh, packages uh, installed on PyPy. So here I have another Python environment. This time I'm going to use pip to install it. So it's just simply pip install stoner. And it will go away. So by default, pip will go and install the stable package. So um, because at the time of making this video, we're still using, um, uh, still in the release cycle for uh, 0 0.8, it's going to have installed um, the 0.7.2 uh, package, which again, we can do the same. Test, import stoner, and ask it for stoner dunder version dunder 0.7.2. Okay, so that was a really nice little short example of how to get it installed. So in the next video, we'll uh, introduce some of the very simple concepts and uh, way of working with the package.